Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will test the causality and stability of the following system. So the system equation is given as y of n is equal to x of n minus x of minus n minus one plus x of n minus one. So we will check whether the system is causal or non-causal first. So check at n is equal to minus two. I pick one instance n is equal to minus two. I will check at this instance. So y of minus two. Is equal to what x of minus two, okay, minus x of minus two and minus. So it will become plus two and minus one. It will become one. Now plus x of minus two minus one becomes minus three. If you see, you are at n is equal to minus two instance, but you need x. Of one also means your output depends upon what future future value of input. So simply, if I say for negative values of n, the output depends on the future values of input. So our system, this particular system, is what it is non-causal system. clear it is what it is non causal system hope it is clear to you fine now let's go for the next check so our output depends upon the future values of input so the system is what non causal remember this fine now check for stability So we already know what is the equation. Y of n is equal to x of n minus x of minus n minus one plus x of n minus one. Okay. So we are talking about the LTI system. We have to check for the stability. So in that case, the input should be what del of n. So the output will become what impulse response h of n. So this equation will become like this. So h of n is equal to del of n minus del of minus n minus one plus del of n minus one. Okay, so it means what? So del of n. If you see del of n, del of n is only defined for which instance, boss? It is defined for which instance? Del of n. It is defined for One when n is equal to zero, right? And other places it will be what zero. So let's calculate h of zero here. So when you calculate h of zero, it will give you what? So del of zero minus del of minus one plus del of minus one. So you already know like. When you are at n is equal to zero instance, only this term is going to give you value, which is one. So overall, it will become what? One minus zero plus zero, which is what? One. Clear? Fine. Now let's calculate h of one. So when you place h of one, so del of one minus del of minus one minus one minus two plus del of zero. In this case, you will get what? So we are talking about n is equal to one instance. So if you see this particular case, del of n minus one. So this del of n minus one will give you one value when n is equal to zero, and will give you zero when n is not equal to one. When n is equal to one, this will give you what one. Otherwise, it will give you zero. So from here, we concluded that this term will give you what one. So zero. Minus zero plus one will give you what one. Now let's go for the h of minus one. So del of minus one minus del of minus one minus one minus two. Sorry, it is what del of minus one, right? So minus of minus one it will become plus one, and it is what minus one plus one minus one. Okay, plus del of Minus one minus one minus two. So overall, it becomes what? Del of minus one 
minus del of 0 plus del of minus 2. But we are at what instant? We are at n is equal to minus 1 instance. So for this instance, only this term is defined. So this will give you 1 at this instance. So here you will get 0 minus 1 plus 0, which is basically what? Minus 1. Right? So here, you know, these three terms are defined on this three instances only. Okay? And for other instances of n, h of n will be 0. For any, for any other values of n, it will be what? 0. Clear? You should aware about this definition, so it will be easy for you. Now let's calculate this and check for the stability. So it is what mod of h of n. So this one, this particular case, it will give you 1 plus this will also give you 1 plus this is what minus 1. But mod is there, so it will become 1. And for other, we will get what 0. Right. For others, we will get what 0. So overall you get 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is equal to what 3, 3 and it is also defined for 3 instances only. We already know 1 is for this, 1 is for this, 1 is for this. So overall we got what 3 which is what is smaller than infinity. If it is smaller than infinity it means the impulse response is absolutely summable. So in this case what you can say boss if the absolute if the impulse response is absolutely summable, it means what basically? It means our system is what? Stable, am I right? That is what we have, we have seen in the last lectures, in the previous lectures. Clear? So you can say system is what? Stable system. System is what? Stable system. Hope it is clear to you right fine so if you have any doubt in this lecture in this particular numerical you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching